Now let's take a look at how to clean up the code so that we don't have so many arrow next in our in our uh, initialization where we created the list. So let's take a look at functions to insert inside a w linked list. We're going to start with inserting at the beginning of the w linked list. How did that work with a single linked list? Remember, we had um, the root, right? We had the root and what we had to do is create a uh, pointer before the root that was linked to it and then make that node um, the root itself, right? That was how we would add at the beginning of a single linked list, similarly here. So we have to do void insert beginning. It's, um, we want the beginning of our linked list and a value that we want to add. First thing first, let's create our node, right? So I'm gonna say here node, new node equals malloc of size of node. Check if we had enough memory to allocate it, just in case. So if new node is null, I want you to just exit and return. Nothing else to do there. And now let's set its value. So new node arrow x is going to be our value, of course. New node arrow previous is going to be, well, since this guy is going to become our new tail, we just set it to null. Okay, and then new node arrow next is going to be equal to what? To our previous tail. So I'm going to say dereference tail once and get me the pointer, right? But that's not all because remember, the tail here, its previous pointer is null, but we don't want that. We want it to be the new node. So we're gonna have to say tail arrow previous equals new node. Right, so that it also points to the new tail, right? And then we can set the tail here. So we can say arrow tail equals new node here. So I hope this doesn't look too much different from inserting at the beginning of a singly linked list. You can check out the link up top if you haven't seen that video before. All we have to do is to first initialize our new node, right? It has, it has its value, its previous pointer is null, that we didn't have in the singly linked list, but that's fine. And then with singly linked list, we didn't have to set this thing, right? We didn't have to modify the rest of our linked list. In this case, we kind of have because we have to set that previous pointer to point back to our new tail, of course, because this, this guy was actually null before. Okay, and then of course, setting the tail to our new tail, new node that has been created to point to the rest of the list. And now there's a crucial difference here. Um, you might have noticed that beforehand, if the list was empty, basically the, the referencing of root or tail once would lead us to null, we wouldn't have any issues. But in our case, you'd notice that we actually use this guy. So if this guy is null and we say arrow previous of null, well, the program, the program is just gonna crash. So we have to check if we actually have a list here. So I'm gonna say here, if arrow tail is not null, then you should actually modify it. And it sort of makes sense because if it's, if it's null, we don't have anything to modify, right? There's an empty list, we're just gonna plop down the, uh, the node and that's it, right? And both previous and next is going to be null. So now let's create our list from that. Let's, let's start with just having a node, right? So we have a node and since we're going to add at the beginning, right? We have to add at the beginning here. Uh, if we keep on adding at the beginning, well, the first element that we are going to initialize it with is going to be our last. So I'm going to just set it to seven from the beginning, right? So setting this to seven means that I'm going to first add uh, three and then I'm going to add one. All right, so next uh, we can see here 
tail arrow next equals null, right? So that it doesn't have any sort of uh, other pointers because it's just the only node inside our linked list. And instead of saying malloc and tail arrow next everything, we're gonna delete this whole thing and just call insert beginning. So insert at the beginning of our, of course, tail or of our doubly linked list, the value three, right? And same thing after all this, we don't have to do anything else. Just gonna have to say insert at the beginning of our linked list. And we want to insert one so that one is the first element now. So if we try to run this, you'll notice I get seven, three and one because this guy was iterating it from the end of our list. We had here current equals head and then we went previous as a step. So now we have this structure. Let's try to remove this, uh, this manual initialization of this last node and insert it using our function, right? Let's do that. So if we say here, insert at uh, the beginning of our tail, the number seven, right? So we want to insert seven, sure. So we don't need all this. We don't need this either. Uh, we don't need to m alloc anything. We just need to declare them as being equal to null, right? So tail is going to be null and head is going to be our tail. So if you try to run this, let's see what happens. As you can see, nothing got printed on the screen. That's kind of odd, right? Why, why, why would that be? Remember why we set double pointers? Right? We did we did that because we wanted to modify our tail. So when we insert here the first time, for example, we get this to be the new node. Right? So that's going to get modified. But here we're iterating with the head. We're starting with the head. Although our head is never modified. All we're doing here is tail equals null and then head equals tail. Well, which is null. So we're just basically setting this guy to null and we're never touching it again. Therefore, this guy is never set. This guy is null forever. So instead of having uh, our insert functions have empty lists passed to them, we should have an init function for the linked list with one single node. Okay, so let's let's do that so that we can actually initialize them properly. So if I have here a simple function just as void init, and this guy will take both the tail, so node double pointer to our tail and node double pointer to our head, because we are going to modify them both. If we just have, well, here we're gonna pass in basically an empty doubly linked list. So what's that gonna be? Well, it's going to be our tail, which is null and our head, which is null, but we're gonna have pointers to those. So this guy is not null, but this guy that should point to a node is null, both of them. And we're gonna change both of them from instead of pointing to null to point to uh, the same node because it's just gonna be one simple node. And we're also gonna initialize them with a value. Right, so I need a value to initialize them with. So that's the first node's value. And then what? Well, we just have to uh, create that node. So I'm gonna say here node, new node equals malloc of size of node. And then if new node is null, I want again to exit with one or two this time, let's say, and return that's if we don't have memory or something like that, if something goes wrong while allocating that uh, place in memory, right? That's usually not gonna happen. So you don't really have to think about this too much. Um, then we have to set their, their value. So new node, arrow x, we have the value here. So that's simple. Previous, well, this is the only node inside our list. New node, arrow previous will be null. And then, of course, since our, it's our only node inside the list, also new node arrow next is going to be null. Amazing, that's, that's fine. And now all we have to do is just set tail and head to point to this node. So you can say dereference tail once, remember that's actually null right now, and set it to be our new node. 
and same thing with our head. And that's all there is to it. And this should be in this should actually initialize our list. So we can say here, okay, do this, but then init tail and head <clears throat> and give it uh, the value seven for the first node. And then you can simply insert at the beginning of our linked list. So now if I try to finally run this, you'll notice I get seven, three and one. That's because of what? The first node was instantiated here, which was seven, right? So it is, well, seven is here at the end of the list. And we kept on adding three and then one, but seven stayed uh, at the same address and it stayed to be the head while the tail kept on changing. So both, <clears throat> both uh, tail and head started at seven, but then what happened is uh, the tail kept changing. So it, it changed to three, once we added three, and then it changed to one, once we added one. So tail was here and head was uh, at stay, stayed here really. So when we said current equals head, that was the, the node seven. And then when you said current arrow previous, that was three and one and so forth and so, and so on and so forth. And of course, like with singly linked list, I'm going to create a video for adding at the end and at uh, the middle or somewhere in between the head and tail of the linked list. Uh, but before that, that's going to be probably tomorrow. Before that, I want you to try doing that. So you have the insert beginning function and I want you to modify it in such a way that it's going to actually insert at the end of the linked list and yeah think about what you should pass as the parameters to this function and how you're going to do it inside the here or what, what has to change because it's very little to actually change in here. So if you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care.